Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Shopify and Facebook. So the use case here is that whenever a new product is created in Shopify, automatically post product image on Facebook page. So first, let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Shopify is an e-commerce platform where you can set up your online store and sell your products. Whereas Facebook is a social networking site. The issue here is that Shopify and Facebook don't have any integration between them and that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration software which will help you to transfer data from Shopify to Facebook. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I will hover over this product section over here and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now we are going to sign into our account. So I'm going to click on sign in. Okay, so now because I have already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free and create your free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. You can try out this integration in Pabli Connect absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account right now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll down and here at Connect, I'm going to click on Access Now. Okay, so now here we are going to create a new workflow. So I'm going to create a workflow now. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I will name it as Shopify to Facebook. Okay, so now I'm going to create it. Okay, so now here in this workflow, we are going to integrate Shopify with Facebook using Pabli Connect. So first I'm going to integrate Shopify with Pabli Connect and then I will integrate Facebook with Pabli Connect. So here first I am going to choose Shopify. Okay, now in trigger event according to our workflow, whenever a new product is created in Shopify, we want to create a page photo in Facebook. That is why new product will be our trigger event over here. You can see we have various other trigger events available. You can select whichever you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the trigger event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate and our team will help you to look for your specific trigger event. So now I'll click on new product. Okay, so when you choose the app and choose the trigger event, you can see this webhook URL displayed over here. So what is this webhook? Webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So this webhook helps you to build a connection between the trigger software application and Pabli Connect. So after choosing the app and choosing the trigger event, what we do is we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is Shopify over here. So you can read the instructions carefully written over here and you can follow them. So now I'll copy the webhook URL from here and I'm going to go to my Shopify account. So I've already opened my Shopify account over here, you can see. So now in order to paste our webhook, what I'm going to do is I'll go to my settings over here. And here you can see notifications, so I'm going to click on notifications. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll down. And when you scroll down here, you can see webhooks. So I'm going to create a new webhook, so I'm going to click on it. Okay, so here you can see event. So event is product creation here. Okay, format will be JSON URL. So here you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste it over here. Okay, webhook API version, it will be 2020.10. So now I'm going to save the webhook. Webhook saved successfully. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. And here we are going to capture the webhook response. So now it is waiting for webhook response. That means it is time to go and create a new product in Shopify. So I'll go to my Shopify account. And here you can see in the left hand side corner products. I'm going to click on it. Okay. So here in products, I am going to create new products. So I'm going to add product. Okay. So here we are going to add the details of the product that we want. So first title. 
So title that I'm going to keep here is I've already saved some information regarding the product that I want. So I'm going to put this. Okay. So my product is Canon EOS 1500D camera. So now I'm going to add the description. I've already saved the description also. I'll just copy the description and I'm going to paste it. Okay. So I have written the description over here. Now I'll come down. So here you have to add the media. Now, because we want a page photo to appear in Facebook, that is why image or photo is compulsory. A file over here. So we are going to add a picture. Okay, so we have added a picture. Now I'm going to add the price. 30,000. And in stock available, I'm going to keep it as 10. Now, if you want, you can add the weight, the other information. And if you want, you can also click on this option that is variance. So now I'll go up and here I'm going to change the product status to active and now I'll save it. Okay, so we have added this new product called Canon EOS 1500D digital SLR camera. And we have also added the description and the picture. Now let's go to Pabli Connect and see if it has captured this response or not. Okay, so you can see we have already got our webbook response over here. The title is Canon EOS 1500D Digital SLR Camera. And you can see vendor is Pabli. If you come down, you can also see the price. So we have successfully finished the integration of Shopify and Pabli Connect here. I'm going to click on save. So here we have successfully finished our integration of Pabli Connect and Shopify. Now let's begin with our second step integration where we are going to integrate Facebook and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on this plus button. Okay, so here I'm going to choose Facebook pages, this one. Okay, now in action event, according to our workflow, whenever a new product is added in Shopify, we want to create page photo. That is why I am going to click on create page photo. So now you can see we have two other action events available. You can select the other one as well according to your choice. And if you want any other action event of your choice, you can again contact our team at admin at the rate and our team will help you to look for your specific action event. So now I'm going to connect with Facebook pages. So create new or select existing credentials. Now, if you have any existing credential like this, you can just go ahead with it. But here I am going to click on new credentials and now I'm going to connect with Facebook pages. Okay, authorization is successful. Okay, so now here what we are going to do is we are going to map the information that we have got from our webhook response over here. This one. Okay, so first field is page. So you might have created a page in your Facebook account. So if I go to my Facebook here, see, I have this page called Pabli Connect Integration. And this is the page that I've already created. That is why this has already been mapped Pabli Connect Integration. If you have more than one pages, it will be displayed over here and you can select them. Page access token. So it has already taken my page access token. I don't need to do anything about it. Photo URL. So here you have to paste the URL of your photo that you want to be displayed. So the photo URL, you can get it from your webhook response. So if you go down, I'll show you where is it. So you can see image SRC. So this is the URL of your image. So now I'm going to just put it over here. Okay, so we have successfully mapped the URL. Okay, so now in description, what we have to do is we are going to write a description over here. So first I'm going to write here product name and then I'll put colon space and now I'm going to map the product name. So product name is this. Okay. So now we want our description to look sophisticated and clear. So I'm going to put my information in separate lines. So in order to put separate lines, what you can do is you can just put slash N and then you can write the information of the second line. So I'm going to write price colon space. Then I'll map the price of the product over here. So price is here. Then again, slash n. Then next is quantity available. Okay. Then colon space. I'll map the quantity. Okay. Then again, last information slash n. And here I'm going to write the product link colon space. 
Okay, so now in order to get your product link, what you have to do is we have to add another action step here in between so that we can get our product link. So I'm going to click on this plus button over here. So now in action event, I am going to choose find product by title because we want to get the link of the product. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to connect with Shopify. Okay, so here create new or select existing credentials. If you have any existing credentials, it will be appearing here. Now I'm going to let it be new credentials. So here it is asking me for private app password. Enter your private app password. So the instructions are written over here. You can create your private app password by login to your Shopify account. After login, navigate to apps, manage private apps. Okay, so I'll go to my Shopify account. Here you can see apps. Now down here you can see manage private apps. So now I'm going to create new private app. So let me give it a name, Shopify to Facebook, emergency developer email, I'll just put Gary Monroe 677 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, now here I'm going to put it as read and write and I'll save it, create app. Okay. So now here you can see the API key and password is here. So I'm just going to show it. I'll copy it. I'll go back to public connect and I'm going to paste it. So now here it is asking me for the subdomain. So I'll go back to Shopify and I'm going to copy this pably over here because this is my subdomain. I'll paste it over here. Okay, now I'm going to save. Okay, so now in product title, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map so first I'm going to delete this. So here in product title, you have to actually map your product ID. So let us search for it. So options zero product ID. Okay, so now I'm going to save and send test request. Okay, so you can see we have our API response over here and you can see products handle. So this is our product link. So now I'm going to save it. Okay, so now I'll come down and here product link before adding the product link. What I'm going to do is I have to add a prefix over here. So for the prefix, I'll go to my product page. That is this one. And here I'm going to copy this URL. So HTTP till product slash. I'll copy this. I'll go back to public connect and I'm going to paste it over here. So now I'm going to map the product link that we got from API two. So let us search for it. Okay, so this was the API to find product by title and this is the product link, product handle. So I'm going to click on this and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. We have got the API response, I'm going to save it. Okay, so now let's go to Facebook and see if a post is there with an image or not. So I'll go to Facebook, I'll refresh this page. So you can see product name Canon, price is 30,000, quantity available, product link is also here. Now, if I open this link in new tab, you can see we have our product over here. Okay, so we have successfully finished our integration over here. Now I'm going to show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So I'm going to go to Shopify and I'm going to add a new product. So let me add HP laptop description. I have the description here. I'm just going to copy it and I'll paste it over here. Okay, so now status, I'll change it to active. Now in media, last time we actually uploaded a picture. This time, let us add a picture through URL. So I'm going to click on this add media from URL. Okay, here I have a picture. So I'm just going to copy the URL. I'll go back to Shopify and I'm going to paste it. Add media. So I have added a media over here. Pricing, I'll keep it as 50,000. Quantity available, I'll make it 25. Okay, so now I'm going to save it. Okay, so now let's go to Facebook and see if a new post is there with an image or not. So I'll go to Facebook. I'll refresh this page. So you can see we have a post over here. Product name, HP laptop, price is 50,000. Quantity available, 25. And you can also see the product link. And if I open this link in new tab, you can see we have the product page over here. So we have successfully finished our integration here. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I am going to show you what has happened in our example. I'll just minimize all this. So in our example, what has happened is first the information came from Shopify to Pabli Connect and then from Pabli Connect, the information went to Facebook. So now every time a new product is created in Shopify, a page photo will be created in Facebook pages automatically. So we have successfully finished our integration using Pabli Connect. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.